Hey everyone, welcome back. It's another day in the life. I'm just going to be doing a bar workout today, which is going to help strengthen, tone, give you an overall um, good feeling in your body. It's going to be kind of slow starting out. Um, so we're going to use weights and of course yoga mat and of course you're going to hydrate and this is not going to be cardio it's going to be strengthening and toning so it's going to you're going to feel it it's going to be kind of slow and pick up the pace so i'm just going to start out nice and slow hope everybody's doing well on this sunday so we're doing about 30 minutes of this so we'll just be stretching our arms up and coming down and we'll just be going out and just putting our legs out arms up just breathe in and out keep the core tight <clears throat> As you'll see me going through this, sometimes you may not see me talking because I'll be working on getting through. So then I'm just going to go down to the floor. So I'll go down to the floor and I'm going to lift my legs. I'm just going to go to my arm. I'll put my arms down. And then I'll just keep lifting. And this really strengthens the legs. You, know, you can take a break if you want. Put some stretching in. And then you'll just bend them. Keep bending. Keep the core in. Keep the butt the same. Don't go too high, don't go too low. And so this is a wellness video to help everybody out, not only for myself, but everybody out there. And some tips on what I do every day. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Like, comment. So next I'm going to be doing some, so I'm going to go out and in, out and in, and yes, I do have my pink workout short pants on, yoga pants, and I have my, just a regular workout top, and I'll be moving my legs as you can see, you can see the video. And do this aside. So, let's see if you can see my legs better. All right. So, I'll get back up. So don't mind me if I'm moving my phone around. So then I'm gonna get my three pounds. It's up to you. I usually go with three pounds for this. It, it's not, it's toning, but I recommend three pounds, lighter weight. You can still feel it, especially if you have back issues and you're just going to lift up the heel, up on your heel, go up on your heel, back down, arm up, arm up, heel up, arm up, arm up. Heel up. So, as you can see the drill, just keep going. Breathe in and out, core tight. And just go in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. You'll start to feel it in your upper back, your shoulders, your triceps. Even your biceps, it works the whole upper body, including your chest. So this is a good way to get rid of saggy 
underarms. As you can see, keeps them nice and toned. Let's go up. And just little pulses. Little pulses. You can even use soup cans with this. I've done that if I don't have my weights. Um, soup cans work. And you're just going to go ballet style with your legs. And then down and out. And then and up and out. And in, up, out, in, up. Out, in, you'll start to feel this in your uh, shoulders. You'll start to feel in your upper arms. Your, and you'll start feeling it all up in your upper body. And just go back. And just go to the side. Back. Up. Back. So you're just going to keep your elbows in. And just go back. This will give you a nice tone in your arms, your upper back area. I recommend lighter weights if you have back problems like I do. And just go in, and just get the weights. I have three pound weights. Those are the three pounds. Let's go in. Breathing it out, pull it tight again. And 10 to 15 of these, I mean, whatever you can do, especially if you're a beginner. And then you just go up, and you put the heel up, back down each arm. Heel goes up, goes up, heel up, heel up, heel up, heel up, heel up. Can you just put your legs out? Not too far, mediocre. Go up. And, and you just want to pull them in. Keep your elbows by your side. And you pull in. Let's go down. You really start to feel this. Let's go in. Kind of feel it. it it'll it'll really pick up if you keep going don't give up this will help you strengthen but also it's it's mediocre impact and then just get one of the weights we're just gonna get one this time we're just gonna go up and then we just two up like this. So as I said in my last video, I've been doing this for a long, long time. Um, I like to inspire people to exercise. It really is a healthy lifestyle. It really keeps you in shape, keeps energy up. So I know I can't do anything if I don't exercise. Um, I'll sit on the couch all day. So this keeps me going and the protein shake I drink once a day, the Orgain. I showed that on my videos. Go up, out. So you can take a little break if you want. And then just bend down. You can put your legs in a ballet position. And then just go. As many as you can do. Go down, go down, up. One, same drill with the arms. Back, forward. And you only, I'm on the, or on the, I'm on our toes here. This just strengthens the legs too while you're doing the arms. And keep your, Head straight, you don't want to hurt your back. And then, of course, 
You're gonna hydrate with water. I actually do 24, 32 ounces a day. My water cup. Protein shake usually keeps me till after lunch. So I'll eat anything. And then of course, I'm just gonna try to stretch out the arms, especially if they feel tense. You can still stretch them. And then you can use a chair for this next exercise that I'm going to be showing. And so we're going to keep stretching just a little bit. And it's going to get on our toes. You can use a chair if you want. I'm just going to, if you lose your balance, I'm just going to go down and keep the core tight. You can feel it more if you keep your core tight. I'm just going to go down to the side. And I'm just going to press out my knees a little bit. around feel it in the knees you feel it in the legs you can take your shoes off if it's too hard on you this is more or exercise I have my shoes on sometimes I do it without my shoes usually I do it's more comfortable today I'm just wearing my shoes I'm just going out and in like I said if you can't hold your balance then just hold on to it sturdy chair my couch is not high enough but I can just move my leg in and out inhale exhale you always want to make sure you're breathing you want to hold your breath and just go down uh, I've learned a lot of these exercises just by going to class um, so now that you're with all this COVID, you can't go to the classes like you want to. So here we are. All right, so you just hold it in this position. You get the legs out just a little bit. And just go up, down, up, down, up, down. Guys, I'm just putting my out. I'll just bend the camera down just a little bit. All right, so it's going to go out, up, or tight, as many times as you can do. And then you're just going to go in this position. So you're just going to cross over, back, cross over, back, cross over, back. Keep the knee in line. You want to keep it straight in line. And just go over as many as you can do. Over, back, over. And you're just going to get a good stretch there. You can feel it in your leg. It's going to it'll start. You can start feeling it in your leg. You just want to go down, down. Down. You can hold on to a chair if you want. You can still feel this. Squeeze. Release. And I'm going to hydrate again. Just take a minute. And then I'm just going to put my arm up. I'm going to go down. Keep the leg. If you can't keep the leg, just down, up. And this one, you just want to over, up. And then you're going to go, put your leg down. This is just kind of, you can keep it the other the same way if you can't do it this way. So you're just going to go up and down, up, down. Up, down. You stabilize and give you more balance. So we go up, down, 
And then I'm just gonna go back. I do the other leg. So and you can see. I'm doing the same leg. Sorry about that. Your hips are up. And just keep the head down. These are even harder to do without holding on to a chair. I've been doing these for a long time too. You can really fold in your legs, keep your legs in shape. And then you go up, cross over, back and down. Up, cross over, back and down. And you can do this for 10, 15 of these. How many ever you can do. And just keep going up, cross over, back, up, up, up. And just keep going. And I'm just going to do the other side. So, if you get tired on that side, you do the other side. Of course, you need to do two sides in order to get the most out of the workout. And then go up. I'm just going to stretch out a little bit. My legs start to hurt. They get sore. And I'll say you can use muscle rub if your muscles get sore. And I usually, you know, you can use, you can do a good Epsom salt bath or, um, Bio freeze is really good. That's a really good option. And you can really feel it. So you're getting out of breath. And then I'm going to hydrate. So I'm going to stretch the arms out a little bit. Getting ready for the other side. And then we're just gonna start on the other side. Same, same thing. I'm just gonna work the other leg. I'm just gonna keep it down. You need to go down. Keep your toes up. Some of these, I'm, I'm uh, you know, just trying to get some of my other leg done. I'm not, uh, I'm, not I'm doing, I'm not like going in. I don't want to, I want to just do, um, show you what I do. I don't like to, you know, be a real stickler about sticking with how many ever you do. Um, I just like to do how many you can do. And if you can't do that many, Take a break. That's how you don't get discouraged. So that's what I've learned. You don't get discouraged. Just keep going. And you'll see. You'll start to lose weight. You'll start to strengthen, tone your upper body, your lower body. So I'll just go out. And then we'll just go down. <coughs> Same thing. <coughs> and you're just going to go up. Just pull the leg up. You're going to keep the... Um, go down. And keep the foot up. Just keep the foot up like that. And go down. Keep the foot up. Come back down. Like that. If you need a chair on this side, you use a chair. If not, you just go up. No. Up, down. Up, down. You can turn this high. Up, down. Pour in. Down. Pour in. Back. Last 
way. Same way. You're gonna stay low in the movement. This is too much. I just want you to step back and come all the way. I can feel it. I can feel it cracking up here in my upper body even. A lot going on here, even though I'm doing lower. So just keep going. Okay, let's go back. So I'm keep it there. Just keep core in. In and out. Breathe. Or you can hold on to the chair. Or you can go in pose. Like this. Okay, let's keep going. Keep going. Until you feel it. And just hold it there. And the time you hold on to she was kind of coming up hard. Okay. All right. Back to the drill. Same thing. Up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down. And back. Just gonna lift the other leg. For, for beginners, you should hold on to a chair. It's much easier. Go back to it. You can do it. Let's get the other leg good. I'm sweating. Should work up a sweat. That's what you want to do. Make sure you're working up a sweat. This will work you up a sweat. If you keep your core in and keep everything tight. Keep the leg out. And you can see my back foot is kind of straightened out. I'm gonna take my shoes off just to give you better. So I'm gonna be on my mat. And stretch it. It's easier, I think. With my shoes off, it could be harder to so stable, but shoes off and your feet are sweating. Of course, you can tie high socks on. You take the socks off. Your feet are sweating. And then go down to the floor. Down to the floor. So, I'm gonna show you. So, I'm gonna do some. Abs, keep this tight. And keep it in. And I'm gonna lift the toes up. Lift them up. Move my toes and down. Keep them up. So I'm gonna go back. 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 This is 
gonna strengthen your core. Strengthen your core. And I'm just gonna go in, 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 in. You'll be able to feel it. Touch the floor. You can feel it more if you put your fingers on the floor. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep tight, tummy. Keep it on the floor. Oh, you can feel it right in here. Oh, in your legs. Keep it up. So keep a nice core. Probably your legs will start shaking if you're doing it right. I'm just gonna put my legs in, kind of give it a little stretch. Push down on my legs. Be able to feel it. Now a little bit. And then back again. So we go back. rest. You need a little more rest as you get older. You need a little more stretching. So you get more aches. Be fun trying to get stretched out good. All right, next I'm gonna kind of stretch out my body. I'm just gonna push down on my legs. about 30 seconds how long you ever long you can hold the stretch I'm get the other leg you can bend down and bend down stretch out this part of the leg In the back of the leg you'll be able to feel it just gonna stretch out let's see Stretch out the legs. Stretch them out. Back over. I'm just going to stretch this leg over. It's good to stretch because you're going to loosen up all those muscles. You're going to be really sore if you don't stretch those muscles out. Good tip. You can hold it. Another leg. Just hold it. Hold it. In. Do a little yoga pose. I'm just going to stretch out the arms. Feels good. Just hold your arm up. 
If you want to do it that way or this way, I'm going to do it this way. Oops. And stretch. Okay, guys. Next, I'm on to my protein shake. And I'll see you guys later. Have a good Sunday. Bye.